Now's our chance. My turn. Arcus, activate. Leave it to me. My turn. Leave it to me. How about this? Ha! Right! Here we go! Six! That's the power of the eight leaves. Turn. My turn. Right. Yes. Leave it to me. Keep moving. An A plus outcome. are hanging in there. Huh. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsade from the town of Legram. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. Legram? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Apple. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait. 
So your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of the Graham. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if I... Uh, uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. <sighs> I think I was outdone. By a girl, no less. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really... I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too! Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Oh. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Uh, Elisa. Ruwer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company is based in Ruhr, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met. I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect- You needn't be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver-haired girl. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura is with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am, though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire, and her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. 
People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow, interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. I can rot down here. <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. The exit's... Now's our chance! We can do this! Here we go! There! It's my turn. Go! Yes! Oh, we did it! I did it! I'm just getting started. Oh! What a nice looking treasure chest. What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh! It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Classel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. just happened. Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. 